morning everyone and in this video i will be talking about introduction to correlation uh, so this is the video in which i will be talking only about correlation not the regression analysis of course so i'll introduce you the types of correlation what are the different types of correlation what are the different types of phasor so this is a theory uh, portion i'm not going to discuss the practical in this for that i've already uploaded a video and that will come in the sequence what is correlation so let's uh, and put it on the slide show yeah that's good so let's talk about what is correlation so when i talk about correlation then uh, we have uh, already uh, means uh, if you if you want to understand the correlation before that uh, you must understand that uh, when uh, you know this is applicable whenever the where there is a distribution which is bivariate that means you must have at least two series there is no univariate distribution on which correl correlation can be applied that means that you must have at least two variables x and y more than two you can have so this is a distrib this is a kind of uh, statistics which is applied on bivariate or multivariate data that is one thing so what is exactly the bivariate distribution why we are interested to know so this particular slide is explaining you that uh, what kind of uh, uh, you know data are there so let me talk about what are the univariate data let's say you only are doing some study on the marks of students in a particular class so there is only one variable that means the marks of students and it's a univariate distribution and you can find mean median mode and you can do a lot of stats on it so all these are univariate probably you have the data only on uh, probably a single stock price only the opening price of the stock every morning and you have data from uh, past 30 days or so it's again a univariate distribution so if there is only one variable x or y means whatever it is just there is one variable on which you are doing some statistics you want to find out something that's a univariate distribution what are bivariate distribution in which we have more than one particular variable together under study probably you can talk about uh, marks in English, marks in stats, and marks in uh, physics. That means you have three different series: X marks in uh, English, Y marks in stats, and Z marks in physics. So you have three different variables. So it's a multivariate data, and you're trying to analyze all of them together. You probably have uh, a stock's opening price, closing price, traded quantity. Uh, that means three different data sets for same stock. So it's again a multivariate series. You have involved three variables. So uh, whenever in your study there are more than one, one variables under study that becomes a multivariate series. So bivariate means two and more than two it becomes a multivariate series. And why exactly we want to study a multivariate distribution or bivariate distribution? Because uh, either we want to identify the relationship bet between variables under study or we want to understand the effect of one variable on another or their movement of togetherness. That means what kind of movement exists whether they are moving in same direction, opposite direction. Uh, what kind of uh, difference in the movement movement means the change here that what kind of change in one variable is caused by another variable so in this what is correlation that is the important part correlation is a statistical tool which studies the relationship between the variables and correlation analysis involves uh, the various methods now try to understand which studies the relationship that means relationship is exists there relationship is already there i'm trying to study that particular relationship that is what correlation do the biggest confusion comes it comes in when people think that correlation is a uh, particular tool which establishes the relationship no it actually establishes the strength of a relationship it studies the relationship it doesn't make a relationship so try to understand so probably i can think about that production of wheat is uh, related to amount of rainfall so this is a, there is a logical relationship between them now through correlation i can establish their strength that means how strongly these particular two variables are correlated logically i thought okay the rainfall is related to amount of sorry amount of wheat production is related to rainfall but i don't know how strongly that measurement that numerical measurement of strength of relationship will be given by correlation so correlation actually calculates the numerical measurement of strength of relationship but it doesn't establishes the relationship from scratch so forget it uh, that means it's not establishing tool it's actually establishing the strength of a relationship so perhaps you can think about you know uh, i am saying uh, the amount of rainfall and perhaps perhaps uh, you can think about like uh, prices of fuel do you think they are logically re related if they are related then you should actually go ahead and study the correlation if you think they are not logically related at all then there is no point of studying the correlation all right consumption of electricity and is one variable which i have collected the data 
and the other uh, another data which i have collected is uh, uh, probably uh, <coughs> probably you can think of uh, that uh, i don't know what what exactly number of hours somebody is driving so these two variables are not related to at all consumption of electricity and number of hours a person is driving and provided the person is not driving in an electric car so in that case again there is no point of studying the correlation so if you think that the variables are correlated then only there is a point to study the correlation between them now the variables are said to be correlated if change in one variable results in a corresponding change in another that means then only i can think that okay both variables are related because change in one is causing change in other there is one example here energy consumption and co2 emission so if you see these two variables are related more energy i consume the co2 emission is going to go high so uh, these two variables are logically related now correlation can actually tell me that what kind of uh, what is the strength of this relationship now this slide is very important what are the different kinds of correlation so correlation can be studied on the basis of three different parameters you can study the correlation on the basis of direction of change you can study the correlation on the basis of change in proportion you can study the correlation on the basis of change uh, number of variables under study so uh, let's talk about them one by one first of all based on the direction of change the first comes the positive correlation that means if two variables are moving in same direction if one variable increases the other also increases probably you can think of uh, price of steel and uh, price of a car so if you look into these two particular variables so the prices of steels are going to go up the prices of car will also go up so these are positively correlated movement of direction is same you can also think about uh, uh, you know prices of again same example if things so positive doesn't mean only increment they also mean that if one variable is decreasing other will also decrease that means they move in the same direction so if i talk about prices of steel if they go down the prices of vehicles will also come down so there this is a positive correlation negative you can immediately think about it it is actually when two variables move in opposite directions that mean if one increases other decreases so if the temperature is going to go up sales of woolen garments will come down they are negatively correlated if temperature goes down the sales of woolen garments go up so this is they are negative one goes down other goes up other goes up one comes down so this is positive and negative and if you want to represent uh, these two particular things then you can easily represent it so this these two arrows so this is a positive relationship of two variables this is variable x you can think this is variable y you can think this is also positive and this is also positive relationship that means both are moving in same direction so that is positive and i hope you can think negative this way so this is a negative relationship between two variables so this you can take x this again you can take as y and uh, or other way around right this is also a negative relationship one is decreasing other is increasing this is again x and this is again y so positive and negative and then comes basis on change in proportion linear and non linear of course i'll be explaining them a bit after a bit linear simply means when the changes are proportionate that means if and one variable increases by one point the other variable every time increases by two points so if uh, you can think about uh, so i'll take up an example non linear means when there you can there is no relationship of such kind that there is a proportionate change which is taking place based on number of variables simple partial and multiple simple means only two variables are under study by variable distribution partial partial means multiple variables are under study but i am studying only two at a time so if you, if i think about production of wheat it is related to rainfall also it is related to type of soil also it is also related to type of fertilizer a farmer is using type of seed so there are multiple variables available uh, on which the production of wheat depends but at a time i am studying only two whether i am studying the relationship between rainfall and production of wheat or fertilizer and production of wheat or uh, probably the type of soil and production of wheat that becomes partial multiple variables are related but i am studying two at a time multiple correlation means studying all at the same time that becomes a multiple correlation so let's uh, go through one examples now the important thing is a correlation can be positive and linear and partial it's not a or condition a correlation can be negative non linear or simple a correlation can be negative linear and partial a correlation can be negative non linear and multiple so a correlation can take one of each property 
and i'll show you through the through an example that means a correlation uh, if there is a correlation which exists you have to decide whether it's positive or negative so this is or positive or negative that is one part another you are so going to see whether it is linear or non linear or you are going to see it whether it is simple or partial or multiple while there is an and condition that means it can be positive or negative and it can be linear and non linear and it can be simple partial and multiple so let's go through some examples positive and negative i've already told you movement of togetherness if they are moving in same direction or opposite direction there are certain examples of it price and demand move in opposite direction the correlation between them is negative smoking habit cases of lung cancer move in the same direction and the correlation is positive i've already spent a lot of time you can think of more examples of such kind then linear and non linear the changes are proportionate then it is linear otherwise non linear so what is it the law of demand says that other factors remaining constants increase in price of a commodity is followed by the decrease in demand but there is no proportionate change the simple logic is that means it doesn't mean that if the prices are going to increase by 2% every time the demand is going to decrease by 4% or 5% that means there is no set formula for it so this is a non linear while uh, you can think of this particular example uh, that uh, what what is a linear correlation so in that case you can understand it this way let's say there are 20 employees in a uh, in a in a company and the company gives two cups of free coffee each day so the consumption of free cups of coffee is 40 each day if the employees increase by 2 if the employees increase by 2 then definitely the cups are going to increase by 4 so the ratio remains same initially it was 20 is to 40 then it becomes 22 is to 44 so that means uh, it it remains 1 is to 2 so that means a proportionate correlation and there are two examples the first one here you could see 1 2 2 4 so if you going to take the ratio it is always going to be 1 is to 2 because 1 is to 2 here this is also 2 is to 4 it becomes 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 so it is linear i think i have it it is linear and yes x is impacting y but changes non linear then comes both based on the number of variables this i have already explained you can pause the video you can read the text that if only two variables are involved relationship is studied between two variables it is simple that is also called a bivariate more than two variables are involved but the relationship is studied between two at a time keeping others as constant that becomes partial and if more than two variables are involved and the relationship is studied between all of them all together it becomes a multiple correlation now the important part is how do you measure the correlation ship correlation ship can be measured uh, you can measure the correlation by three different methods scatter plots carl pearson's coefficient of correlation and method method of rank differences or spearman's correlation coefficient there are other methods also which come in non parametric statistics right now i'm not going to discuss this all this is a part of parametric so uh, it's not arguable that uh, there are other method yes they exist but uh, they are part of little advanced studies that means non parametric uh, statistics or so right now we are discussing the parametric statistics so i'm going to talk